What a strange use of my time, huh, guys? I'm just... I'm a weirdo. Nice. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today, we're doing something a little different. Now, we've done the bite videos. We've done the sting videos. We have never, ever had an animal feed <laughs> on myself, on my person. And I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, but we do have a very special visitor with us today. Now, in this container, is a species of annelid. Now, annelidae, um, or annelida, um, is a group of organisms um, that some of, that mostly go overlooked. Um, and in my recent travels, I have gained a newfound respect and fascination for these animals. This right here is a leech. Now you can see it actually swimming around in there. They are very adept in an aquatic setting. This particular species is Perudo verbana, uh, sometimes commonly referred to as the European emerald leech. Um, these guys are actually related to medicinal leeches, and some believe that these were actually the first species of leeches to be used in a medical setting. Now, a lot of people are grossed out by leeches, but I have to say, out of all the parasites that you could possibly get, leeches are probably um, the least terrible. I would take a leech over a tick or a mosquito any day. This one hasn't eaten in a while. I know for sure, because it's a little skinny and it's very active. <laughs> so this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, they're actually very, very attractive leeches. Lots of green and orange um, on the actual dorsal side, which you'll be able to see uh, once it's attached. Uh, you can get a little closer. Uh, now, again, these species are a European species, uh, sometimes called the Hungarian uh, leech or the European emerald leech. Now, one thing about these leeches is that they have a little tiny something in their saliva called uh, hirudin, after hirudo, the genus, uh, which is an anticoagulant. So that's just fancy talk for it will be very hard for my body to clot up um, the hole that the leech um, will make when it feeds. So sometimes this bleeding can last for a long time. Uh, in Australia, I actually had a leech crawl all the way up my pant leg, all the way up my shirt and latch onto my arm uh, while I was hiking looking for platypus. Um, and it fed for maybe 20 minutes, uh, so quite some time. And uh, it actually bled uh, for about an hour afterwards. So we'll see how long this lasts. I, I don't know if it's going to latch onto my hand or if I am going to move it. You can latch onto my arm if you want. I think it's hungry. I'm going to assume that it's hungry. <laughs> but look at the colors. You see that? Just brilliant green and orange. I think they're very, very attractive leeches for sure. Oh, there he goes, I think. I think he's... So what they, what he's doing is he's actually trying to get leverage, trying to find a good spot. So they have um, um, a large disc on the mouth um, that they can use to create a low uh, uh, pressure area. So he's actually sucking. I can feel that he's actually cutting through my skin right now. It's a tiny bit painful, but it doesn't really hurt. I just can feel that he's attaching himself. Uh, so he's actually using. They have a suction cup at the base of the at the base of the um, abdomen at the end, um, and then they have a suction cup at the front, um, which they use to anchor themselves during feeding. Very very interesting. <laughs> um, this may be a little weird. I maybe should have said, "Don't watch if you don't want to watch a leech latch onto me and feed on my blood," but uh, I think it's very interesting. <laughs> Now, leeches uh, are arguably, in my opinion at least, um, one of the most, if not the most, intelligent group of uh, worms. <laughs> they seem to always be uber hyper um, uh, aware of their surroundings. 
you can see there that's the suction cup at the end he's got himself in a nice comfortable position and he's hunkering down to feed do you got it something's happening i feel like a leech is biting me <laughs> um but leeches are really really cool i i never in a thousand years would thought i would put a leech on me and allow it to eat um but as you can see uh, i have done just that <laughs> um parasites used to really weird me out as a kid especially um but as i encounter more and more of them in the wild i just become more and more fascinated um, by them uh, so it's always good to keep a wonder for life regardless of what it is um it's really not going to be very climactic <laughs> it's just gonna eat until he decides to stop eating and then it will detach now this particular leech actually is one of the few animals that i own uh this leech is not native to my area it's native to europe again um and this particular leech's name is uh leech witherspoon <laughs> which i thought was pretty funny um and um it's just a leech that's all it does it eats blood and lives in a box of water in my room <laughs> uh, now leeches actually have a very slow metabolism uh, especially these european leeches if kept at a lower temperature um, they can actually go uh, weeks if not months uh, without eating comfortably uh, so they just need um, pretty pretty minimal care just make sure that their water's clean and that they're doing all right they're getting enough to eat um, and they're the perfect, they're I, the ideal pet. You don't have to take it on walks, you don't have to give it shots, you don't have to do anything except for let it feed on your own blood. So a very easy sacrifice for anyone to make for such a beautiful and cute creature. Wow, it is so weird. I can feel it just biting through my skin. Now, Hirudo, uh, I believe, make a T-shaped incision as opposed to a circular one. Uh, because that's how their teeth are lined up. So we'll see <laughs> after it's done feeding um, if it is indeed a T incision. Very, very interesting. I think yeah, you can take a look with the sun on it. I mean, it's a very attractive leech, in my opinion. It kind of hurts, but it's not the worst. And it's just sucking away. Uh, so we actually encountered a uh, predatory species of leech in uh, Borneo, uh, which I got some video of. It may be on the channel by the time I upload this video. It may not be. Um, but there are some other leeches uh, that do not feed on blood. Uh, they actually feed on uh, other annelids. Uh, so that particular species feeds on worms. So it'll actually probe around with, this, with a suctiony mouth, and it'll actually... <laughs> slurp up the other worm like spaghetti um, so it's very very interesting to see the different types of leeches uh, that are in the world and the different adaptations they have um, to survive doesn't seem like he's getting any fatter <laughs> what a strange what a strange use of my time huh guys i'm just i'm a weirdo <laughs> All right, so we will cut the video here and then I will update as we go along because if I sit here and talk the whole time, this could take like 20 minutes. And I hate to break it to you guys, but I know you don't want to watch me for 20 minutes talk about the leech on my arm. Um, but I will have another update that will start right now. So definitely a little chunkier. I think he's about to detach. It looks pretty full. Okay, so it has been feeding for about 30 minutes. So you can see it is much plumper now. Some slime <laughs> run off. Uh, so that's mucus it's actually secreting because obviously it's out of water. Um, so it's trying to keep its skin um, nice and moist. The sun's kind of coming down. Um, now it's really important with leeches to let them finish feeding. Uh, you might think, oh, I can just, I'll just burn it or I'll rip it off or something. Well, that can cause the leech oftentimes to regurgitate blood 
back into you. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't want my blood back with leech vomit in it. It's totally fine just to let the leech continue feeding and then just to drop off on its own. Um, leeches rarely can carry disease. Um, oftentimes, the only time you see leeches carrying disease is if they were recently used on someone else carrying a disease, uh, typically with medical leeches. Um, so usually a wild leech, it probably fed on a turtle, or you're incompatible with most turtle disease, uh, so you should be fine. <laughs> um, so typically when I get a leech on me, I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna see if I can get him to be done because I know he's full. But you can see the mucus there, nice and slimy. Oh, get that nice strand. <laughs> Leech goop. Um, a lot of people don't like leeches, but I find them to be very interesting. Uh, you can see he's actually uh, contracting um, different parts of the body to actually um, help put some pressure on uh, the mouth uh, and to actually pull blood uh, into the body. Really a very, um, although albeit primitive, but a very efficient animal. They do what they do best and they suck blood very well. Um, are you about done? You seem full. <laughs> I've been standing here for 30 minutes with a leech on my arm. I'm ready to put you back. Sometimes what will happen is when leeches are ready to like go, they'll just drop. <laughs> and I don't want it to drop on the mud, so I'm gonna see if it can just drop into this cup. But um, <clears throat> leeches are very interesting. They typically will actually lay their eggs on land. Uh, so they will actually create a big old foamy egg case uh, that will dry out on land, but keep the eggs um, and the baby leeches uh, nice and protected. And then once the leeches hatch, uh, typically they will try and go and find a water source um, or some, some species like terrestrial leeches will just go right into feeding on live animals. But as you can see, they really have some pretty good suction on there. Both suction cups are specially designed um, for gripping animals much like myself. <laughs> Very interesting. He went from being a string bean to a cucumber in just 30 short minutes. Nice and jiggly. Very pretty. I really like the colors on these. The green and the orange, almost turquoise on the spots, and then they have a nice kind of light underbelly. Very, very interesting leeches. All right, I'm just about done. <laughs> uh, what a strange episode. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, I guess I'll film when he's back in the water, uh, but I'm gonna cut it again because he's not done. Very chunky leech. Are you done? Fall into the cup. I have places to, to go, people to be. Oh, oh, oh. Almost. Look at how fat. Look at how big you've grown. If he touches the water, he might. Nope, don't slide it back up. Get in there, buddy. <laughs> Classic leech. Classic leech move. I think you're done. I think you're finished. Very strong. Suckers. <laughs> Honestly, if we're being real, if we're being truthful, if we're being honest, you can see the sheer size that this leech has grown in just a few short minutes, or very long minutes, because we've now been out here for like 45 minutes. Hungry leech, I guess. I just had to make a video about it. You're welcome. I know how everybody loves leeches as a favorite animal. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, sweetie. All right. Go back in the container. 
leech wither spoon. Nice. Nice. What a chunky leech. See that suction cup there? Very neat. Just like a giant piece of spaghetti. <laughs> But uh, that's the full extent of the leechism of today. Man. Very interesting. Okay. Cool. Okay, so this is the leech bite one week later and as you can see it is definitely a y-shaped bite a little bit of bruising as well underneath the skin but uh, all in all pretty interesting